present to you the Lateradectus, better known as the Black Widow, famous for its fearsome reputation of eating the male after mating, a behavior that has made it a symbol. In previous videos, we've had the opportunity to observe how this spider can feed on larger spiders with astonishing ease, demonstrating great cunning and skill. Its hunting ability makes it one of the most feared predators. This one is the terror of insects and arachnids. It is a parasitic wasp that carries out its dark work meticulously, laying its eggs in the bodies of other insects. When the larvae hatch, they feed on the living host, ensuring their survival. Unlike the wasps that inhabit hives, where dozens of members work together, these solitary wasps are independent warriors that dig cavities in the ground, where they place their prey, already inoculated with their eggs, thus ensuring the continuation of their legacy. But what would happen if it encountered a black widow? Before we continue, we would like to introduce you to an extremely rare creature. This is a microscopic male Cetophora citricola, which has a completely unique appearance, with an elongated, slender abdomen adorned with strange color patterns. Additionally, it has long, delicate legs that allow it to move agilely across its web. It spends most of its life on the female's web, competing with other similar males to attract her attention. Before approaching the female, this male performs a curious ritual dance to show his interest and avoid being attacked by her. The Black Widow has detected that it is facing a fast and sizable flying insect, and is preparing to assess its potential prey. However, this wasp may not be an easy prey, as it is used to hunting the most dangerous predators. First, the Black Widow looks for a strategic spot to settle in, given the absence of a previously designed web. One of the parasitic wasp's legs gets accidentally stuck in the sticky web, but thanks to its incredible strength, it manages to free itself. The Latrodectus tries to gain control of the top, while the wasp struggles to rid itself of the remnants of spider silk that hinder its movement. An interesting fact about parasitic wasps is that some species have an extraordinary ability to modify their environment, using their mandibles to create holes in wood, thus forming chambers that can also serve as shelter for other species. Although parasitic wasps have a stinger and can sting if they feel threatened, they are usually less aggressive than common wasps, but their sting is equally painful. The venom of this black widow species is highly neurotoxic, causing paralysis in its prey, while the venom of the parasitic wasp affects the nervous system of its prey, gradually weakening them. We are observing how the black widow covers the entire area with its web, patiently waiting for the moment when the wasp makes the mistake of getting caught. However, the wasp makes sure to completely clean off any remnants of sticky web, aware that it could be a trap. The Latrodectus realizes that it is not achieving its goal and quickly moves into ambush mode. It manages to partially catch its prey, but it must not let its guard down any mistake could be fatal, as if it gets too close without caution, the wasp could use its stinger in an instant. Immediately, it begins to reinforce the anchors of the web it has stuck to the walls in this way, it ensures that its trap is strong enough to catch any intruder.
However, the strength and tension that the wasp exerts on the web indicate that it has the ability to escape, which alerts the Black Widow. Acting quickly, it prepares to intervene before it happens. We observe the incredible silk reservoir that this spider has, seemingly drawing it infinitely from its abdomen. This sticky web is made up of silk threads containing fibroin, a protein that provides strength and elasticity, and sericin, which acts as an adhesive. This combination allows the spider to create a web capable of withstanding the tension of large prey. The spider has managed to capture the parasitic wasp, but now it faces the most crucial and dangerous part of its process it needs to inject its venom to complete its feeding and ensure that it does not escape. It's interesting to see how, after injecting its venom, it launches a quick burst of silk, anticipating its prey's reaction. There are approximately 30 species of Latrodectus, commonly known as widow spiders, around the world, each with different colors and patterns, but all share similar behaviors that have allowed them to conquer various ecosystems. This adaptability and hunting strategy make them effective predators in a variety of habitats. Stetoda, close relatives of black widows that often have a confusing appearance, have the curious trait of not consuming males after mating. In fact, it is common to see them in small colonies, sharing the same web in groups of two or three, which reflects a different social behavior compared to Latrodectus. It should be noted that all species of spiders feed on insects and small invertebrates. Some have specialized in hunting flying insects, becoming particularly effective in that area, while others simply eat everything, including other spiders. Once the Black Widow has secured its prey, it will begin its feeding process, which can last up to an entire day. With a prey of this size, it will have enough food for its next batch of eggs. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to continue watching this content.